Uh, Adam Schefter reporting expected, but now official commanders head coach Dan Quinn ugh, named rookie number two overall pick Jaden Daniels as Washington's new number one quarterback. Daniels is now slated to start opening day against Tampa Bay, uh, the Buccaneers. So Jaden Daniels, the uh, what, second rookie to be named starting quarterback. We expect maybe Bo Nix soon here. And then um, also we're waiting on they're, they're on the Patriots situation with Drake May and uh, Brissette. But obviously right now, Cable Williams week one and now Jaden Daniels. Yeah, so Jaden Daniels, I, I think they... They did their best to surround him with as much talent as they could. I think what remains to be seen is, like, did they sign the right guys? Because they signed, a, they signed like, 2015's all-star team. Yeah, so on defense, Bobby <laughs> Wagner, obviously. Bobby Wagner, Frank Zach Ertz. Frank Luvu with the line, but he's not really Austin Eckler. He's not really a veteran. Right now. But he, they've, they've done things that, like, for, like, to make it easier for him. Because last year, that line was just straight ass. So I think they've, they, they, they've fixed that a little bit. They, defensively. Who did they add to the line? Uh, Allegretti, uh, the guard from Kansas City, who okay, uh, had a rotational nicely. guard but played well in the playoffs. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm blanking out now. They added uh, one more guy and completely yeah, blanking out. Yeah, you just out. said it last draft. Totally yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've but they've worked on it still, and then they've drafted. I think they drafted a, a uh, young tackle. So that we'll see where that goes. But they're addressing it. They're trying to make it better. It starts with the quarterback, right? And yeah. mm-hmm. CJ Stroud didn't have much to work with last year. He had, he had tons a of very, a it. very injured offensive line. Yeah. Weapons, which at that point were very unproven. Mm-hmm. Tank Dell, 165 pounds or whatever. And Nico Collins, who I think had him broken 500 yards in a season, yep. two years in a row. So <laughs> he didn't have much to work with either. This very well might be this year's Texans. Like if there is a team, I, and I don't always like that kind of terminology, even though that's what the show is going to be today. <laughs> uh, but if there's any team that's going to be this year's Texans, it has to be the Commanders, right? Yeah, it, it, it's um, what's the saying? History doesn't re- repeat itself, but it like rhymes. It, this is looking a lot similar to that Texans team, where number two overall quarterback, talented guy, defensive minded head coach who makes the the defense play a little better than what they're like, you know, on paper should Hopefully. should play. Uh, yeah, and now it just takes a little bit of little bit of rookie magic or luck or whatever you want to call it to make this yeah. team a competitive team, and then obviously. Scary Terry been one of the most underrated wideouts in the league, so they have that. Well, I was going to say, their weapons are, I think, definitely could use an upgrade, but not bad. Like People start look at Daniel Jones. He's I'm start- still in on Jahan Dotson, and I think they are too. I think it was a little yeah. bit of a motivational tactic they're, they're going with. But mm-hmm. from what I've read and what I've seen, he's been in the slot, uh, like in camp with the starting they, unit. They can't quit him. They, yeah. they, they, That's they, they're guy. trying to convince themselves right. that they, they, they can't quit him. And then uh, – but. Uh, Luke McCaffrey making a little noise McCaffrey. over there. Diami uh, Brown. Diami Brown. Yep. He caught that Diame long touchdown. Brown? Is it Diami? Diami. Ah, sorry. Diami Brown caught Diame that Brown. long touchdown from Jalen Daniels. Yeah. Uh, so they got a couple weapons there, and of course Austin Eckler, Brian Robinson, who I think a lot of people are sleeping on. I think he's the lead guy this yeah. year, and yeah. Austin Eckler's more of a third down guy. But uh, <laughs> uh, it has to be exciting for the Commanders. They, they lose the the owner who was. Super oh, toxic. He was like a racist, yeah. sexist, yeah. massage. Yeah, all, well, exactly. Great guy. But now you have your franchise quarterback. Just <laughs> uh, another team. Them and the Bears. If they would have like nailed the head coach hire, like that would you, it would have been such. Both of them. You would have really felt good. Because it's a thing. Like I've forgotten that they'd hired Dan Quinn up until now. Dan when Quinn. all the all the Jaden Daniels talk has been happening. Like any other team, oh yeah, yeah they hired this guy. Yep. You would have brought up Commanders. I would have. I forgot. I don't. I don't remember who they Dan, hired. Dan Quinn's career uh, um, coach record is five hundred, and his playoff record is two and three. Yeah, so he like re- he got known by being the Legion of of Booms, the defensive coordinator. Cor- then he went to Atlanta and they um, lost. To the but Super- he's never really had incredible success as a head coach. Yeah, we did so, go to Super Bowl, so that's that's successful ish. As that coach. Yeah, oh, he yeah, was yeah, with, with Atlanta. Was, was the twenty eight to three. That was, but that was obviously yeah, the twenty eight to three. So <laughs> it's kind of like they so went like there. Like if you have a Super Bowl on your record, that's not the one you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you went, to, you went there, but you got like your ass kicked. Actually, no, embarrassed. How would we be looking at, at like a hire like this had they just held on to that Super Bowl? Oh well, it, Doug it, Peterson. It's like, yeah, it wouldn't Dougie P. Dougie. Yeah. It's, it's fair. Dougie P's in trouble too. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Dougie P. 